Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. In today's video, we're gonna talk about core concepts on the general curriculum math exam and the elementary 53 exam. Use this set of videos to help you in your teacher test preparation if you're taking an elementary math exam. Hi team, I wanna talk about slope and finding the slope of a line. And knowing slope is really important because then it helps us come up with equations to describe linear relationships. We have our x variable, that's our input. We have our y variable, that's our output. You're always gonna remind yourself the x variable is our input or our independent variable. On an x and y axis, this is the value on the horizontal axis. Our y variable or our output is our dependent variable. This is the value on the y axis. And the b here stands for the y intercept. This is where the line crosses the y axis when x is zero. So I wanna start with the most basic a basic understanding of slope and being able to determine if a line is positive or negative, if it has a positive rate of change or negative rate of change. So let's think of it this way. Imagine a mountain. Anyone ever go skiing before? Well, you had to climb up the mountain, right? You had to climb up the mountain, so we're ascending the mountain. So whenever you climb up the mountain or whenever you have a line and that line is going up the mountain, that means it's going from low to high. So if you have a line as you read from left to left, right going low to high, I want you to always remember that that line has a positive slope. So just by looking at it, if you see something on a graph going from low to high, you know it's got a positive slope. So if we write our equation out here, y is equal to mx plus b, right away when you look at this and you see that line's going from low to high, you know it's positive. At the same time, if we ever have a line that's going from high to low, I'll put down low here. So as we read from left to right, it's going from it's starting up high and going down. Well, it's got a negative slope. We're descending the mountain. We're skiing down the mountain. You can tell I, I don't ski, right? It's got a negative slope. So if we were looking at a line like this, we, we would know that if we saw an equation like y is equal to mx plus b, we know that this value in front of the x has got to be negative. What about if we're on top of the mountain? We're just resting on the top of the mountain. What would that be? Well, it's not negative. It's not positive. There's no slope. So whenever we see a flat line, it's slope is zero. Let's just start with those three and take that analogy and look at that analogy again with the picture. A line is going up from low to high. We know that it has a positive slope. A line is going from high to low. It's got a negative slope. The skier is flat. The line is flat. We say it's got zero as a slope. There's, there's no slope. What about if the skier falls off a cliff? Ah! Well, we're going to call that undefined. So if you ever see something like this where the line's positive, then negative, then no slope, and then if it was a straight drop, this would be undefined. So this is an undefined slope, or I guess we'd say for the skier, death. <laughs> but right now, let's just not, let's just say undefined. Let's use some of these ideas to answer a lot of questions. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.